Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. As a roboticist that's been in the business for over 40 years, I kind of live in fear of becoming a dinosaur. That causes us to embrace new technology, and that's what we have to show you today. Uh, who what you see here is uh, Alex and I shaking hands on a new deal. He's with the uh, Abaiji Corporation, and they have come up with an interesting new technology that leverages uh, state-of-the-art 3D vision to simplify the process of programming and operating robots. So what we've done here is we've taken a 3D drawing of a part and then using the 3D vision system we randomly place the part in the envelope and then register the part. We also determine if there are any fixtures, if there's any part discrepancies, you name it. And then we select the lines that we want to be welded and then the system will automatically create these part programs. So it greatly streamlines the part programming process and also eliminates the need for precise fixturing. It also eliminates the need for precise torches. So it overcomes a whole lot of the problems that we've been tackling in other ways. I find this to be an interesting new process and I think there has great application particularly in large parts uh, and low volume count which has always been the problem with welding systems. So what you see here we've actually taken the 3D image of the part, brought it into the system and now we've lined up the parts that we want to weld, selected the weld groups and it goes to a default set of part parameters and these default parameters include amps, volts, travel speed, torch angle, etc. If you want to modify them you can but if you lay, leave it at default then it'll run it. So here we've created the program and then John Martin has moved the part so now we have to re-register this part. It's the same part but it's moved. It kind of simulates an operator simply randomly putting a part in the working envelope and using the 3D vision system we determine where it is but we want confirmation of it. There's always errors in everything and by using touch work we can go in and confirm the final part positioning. What's neat about this is even the touch work program is automatic. So let's say there are holes in this part. The touch work would avoid the holes, uh, avoid projections and create that touch work program automatically. After it confirms the position of the weld joint then it's going to dry run this part just to confirm that we've got the, the, the program that we want and then we'll do a hot run of this weld. With any new advanced technology like this, the only way to really determine the strengths and weaknesses is to try it. So we decided to put a demo cell at Arc Specialties and then do some testing in our facility. And to do this required a little help from our friends. I'd like to thank the guys at Lincoln for the power supply, uh, the folks at Fanuc for an excellent robot, and American Wellquip for not only the torch but the torch cleaning station because part of this operation is you have to clip the wire to length. We're using the wire as a sensor which is a great technique because it even compensates for contact tip wear. But it requires that you have a repeatable snip and we're not only getting that from the American Wellquip uh, cleaning station but we're also adding a uh, calibration box on the top of the station to confirm that we do indeed have the correct stick out on the wire. So. We just ran the dry run, looked good, so now we're going to run the hot run, uh, arcs on, we're running flux core wire here. And if you watch carefully, right at the end of this well, the torch will actually pivot into the corner. This is just like what a human would do, but we didn't have to program it. The, the guys at Abadji already realized that this is part of the welding process. This is built in to your program automatically. Of course, you can tweak it if you want to turn earlier, turn less, turn more, whatever, you can do it. Works well though, uh, so this was using default parameters off their software system. We'll chip the weld and take a look at it and you'll see that the leg length is perfect, uh, perfectly equal, uh, no convexity, no concavity. It's, it's a good weld, uh, so this is exactly what we're looking for on these heavy parts. So this system will be running in our laboratory for the next couple, three months. Uh, if you have a process where you think it might benefit uh, we'd be happy to uh, run some parts for you in our facility. Uh, the, the point of this thing is speeding up the programming and automatic part registration to eliminate fixturing. It really addresses a lot of the problems that you have on low part count, high part size parts. So if you think this will benefit you, give me a call. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.